I might talk, say, on the radio, because I know some of you don't have English as a first language. Is that, am I right in doing that? I don't want to be annoy yes, everybody. <laughs> uh, now, we're going to explore some of the popular ballads that were heard in the streets of England, in the theatres, in the marketplaces, and in the taverns, places, I guess, that were rather like this one, perhaps, portrayed here by the Dutch painter David Teniers, the younger. Um, now, these songs you're going to hear us perform this afternoon were known as broadside ballads, uh, mainly because they were printed on single sheets of paper, which were known as broad sheets. And here is a typical example of that. Uh, as you can see, and I've got one of these machines, as you can see there's a, a title, a looking glass for lascivious young men or the prodigal son sifted. Uh, and as you can see, there's also a subtitle under here, and then there's a little description and lots of verses, and of course, a woodcut illustration. Now, ballads like this were commonly sung by street peddlers, um, whose aim was really to sell as many of them as possible um, to the passing public. Now, we don't know the names of the people who wrote the words, really, just a few of them. They were usually anonymous hacks. And in most cases, we don't know who wrote the melodies or the tunes either. The ballads were simply sung to the most popular or most catchy tunes of the day. Now, I suppose you could call these broadside ballads folk songs, in that they were enjoyed by a wide range of society, and many of them, of course, had come from the oral tradition. Others were newly composed, and then they moved into the oral tradition changing and adapting, of course, as they were sung from memory. Uh, the ballads were often dismissed as trivial or even scurrilous or rude, but they do have value today in that they give us a real street-level glimpse of the past. Now, here's a typical <coughs> street. 17th century London was a very noisy, a smelly, a crowded place. In fact, by the 17th century, believe it or not, it was the most populated city in Europe. The old crumbling walls that surrounded it uh, no longer really enclosed it because buildings, shops, churches, houses spilled over as it became more and more crowded into the countryside. Carts rattled over the cobbles in the narrow streets. Porters, as you can see here, sweating under heavy baskets and barrels filled with goods for the shops and the markets. But everywhere, of course, the air was filled with the cries of the street traders. Now these cries could be quite tuneful, and they have provided the inspiration for many, many songs. We're going to perform part of one of them now. This is called the Traders Medley. And as you'll hear, it's rather like a shopping list. You may have the words, I think you have in your, if you want to follow them, but I hope they'll be clear as we sing them. <coughs> you can hear what you could buy on the streets, flowers, vegetables, coal, sealing wax, even swords and wigs from door to door. I say it's enough to put Sainsbury's to shame. <laughs>
fish and give it to your ass. See 